Okay, I'm going to show you the method shown here in this book, The New Artisan Bread in Five Minutes a Day. And bread in five is what you'll find this hashtag with all over the web. I'm going to show you how I do it. The bread's been rising for two hours. Four simple ingredients that I weighed out, and you can see it's risen quite nicely. When I first started making this, the bread, instead of rising into bowls like it is on the picture here, it would get flat. So the secret is to make a nice gluten cloak, and I'm going to show you how to do that. First of all, you take some flour and pour it in a bowl. Just make sure you've got plenty of flour where you can keep your hands floured because again, this is a very wet dough. So I'll start by putting a little bit of flour on the top of the surface. You could go ahead and put the dough in the fridge now and form it later, but I like to go ahead and make up about four at a time because everyone loves fresh bread and I can always find somebody to give a loaf to. So you can see I'm coating my hands really well with this flour. And what my goal is going to be is to get a really nice gluten cloak here. And that's going to be what makes the bread stay round and not get really flat. So don't be afraid to use some flour, but we don't want to knead the bread at all. We're not kneading it, we're just shaping it into this round surface. And also you wanna put a little cornmeal on the peel so that it is it will slide off. And also you can go ahead and preheat your oven to 450 and you will have a pizza peel in the oven that we will then slide the bread onto. If this bread hasn't been refrigerated, as is the case here, it only has to rise the second time for 20 minutes. So I'm forming out a second bowl here. And again, you wanna see how I just guesstimate what it would take and again, get my hands this really, really wet dough. So it wants to stick to my hands. And I am getting it here into a really nice round bowl. And that's forming a gluten cloak on top. You can see that's forming a nice gluten cloak. And we'll put it down there, that's the second one. And now I'd like to do two more. I'll show you real quickly. All in all, you're probably not holding on to the dough for more than 30 seconds. So again, very sticky. So you see that I'm turning it around and around. And it doesn't matter that it looks ugly on the bottom because nobody's going to see that. Third one. And then the very last one, you can see here I'm pulling out the last of the dough and it's really wet. Just start it out by flattening out a gluten cloak on the top. Continue to turn it around in my hand until I get a nice circle and squeeze it at the bottom. It's a nice gluten cloak and there you can see I've got four nice loaves and I'll come back here shortly let you see how these have risen and we'll cut slices in the tops and put them in the oven. Okay you can see these have really rose nicely they're pretty much round flat balls so I'm going to cut put a little dough on the top of each of them you see how I'm sprinkling the dough on the top of here and then cut slices in them. I'm come over here and show this I'm cutting slices in them, just gently cutting the slices, and you'll see what this does in just a minute. Okay, and I will put a cup of water into the bottom of the stove as I slide these into the stove. I've got about a cup of water. I'm gonna slide that. pour the cup of water and it and close it. And in 30 minutes, we'll have four loaves of bread. Okay, it's been 30 minutes. Time to get the bread out and it looks beautiful. Oh, and so we're gonna slide it onto this rack where it will cool for about 30 minutes. And I try to keep it attached. If it's attached, it'll stay on this rack for 30 minutes. Beautiful, and if you're lucky, you'll hear it singing.